Hey everybody, welcome back to the Tamiya Fat Fox build. Today we're going to be working on steps 5, 6, and 7, which is to assemble the differentials, mount them onto the chassis, as well as working on the rear arms. So let's get started by identifying all the parts we need for step 5. We have the diff case here. You need three of these tiny screws. They're in the bag of screws that you've already opened. So look for those there. You have the star shaft that looks like that. And all these metal parts are in one bag together. So look for the bag with the gears. You're going to need two large bevel gears, as well as three small bevel gears, and this ring gear. All right. Let me reposition the camera and get started. For this part, you're also going to need the grease as well as a smaller head Phillips screwdriver. And it's ideal if you have something to rest the diff case on. If you don't, it's not a big deal. I have this armorer's block right here. And this always comes in handy for shocks and diffs. So I'm going to set that on there so it's on a flat surface. It's not necessary. You can just hold it on your hand. Don't let it stop you. And the first step is to go ahead and place some grease inside, inside this groove right here. Let me move the light so I can show you. Inside that area right there and the reason is this part of the bevel gear is going to rest inside and they want to minimize friction all right i don't think you're going to be able to see me do this all right and i'm just going to apply a little bit more to the outside as well Okay, let's see, let me tilt this, maybe this will work. There we go. And we're gonna drop the larger of the bevel gear, one of them in there. And you can immediately feel there's a cushion of uh, grease when you drop it in there, it feels really good. Okay, so next part, this will come in handy to set that aside while it's still standing. You're going to hold on to this and try not to get your hand dirty. So let's see if this works. I'll probably need the 1.5. Let's see. Okay, that might work. That's probably going to fall off. At least it gets my finger out of the way. Okay. I'm just going to put a little dab right there. Here we go. And you're going to be putting these gears in facing inside. This is quite awkward. There we go. Wipe that grease off. Yikes. Okay. And it's also asking us to put a little grease on the back of gear. I'm not going to try to make a ring with it. I'm just going to smudge it on one side. And when it starts spinning, you'll evenly spread it out. All right. There we go. And now we're just going to go ahead and drop this in there. This is really awkward. I'm going to have to get my hands dirty. All righty. Okay. 
Here we go. And the key thing is the end of the shaft stem needs to go rest into these index holes, grooves right there, just like that. Okay. Wipe off any excess grease. And there you go. Let's set that aside. Asking us to put a little grease on top of here as well. Okay. Now we're going to set the other large bevel gear there. And grease that all around. Okay. And this ring gear is going to go face down. And as you can see, there are three indexes here that matches up with there. And that will also line up this rules. So let's see if I can make sure there's no debris or dust that falls in. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm going to set it on the block here and start putting on the screws. And if you didn't watch my other video, yesterday's video, you don't want to go all the way down with one screw at a time. You definitely want to go in a rotation so you don't put any any clamping force onto the gear uh, before it can e be evenly spread out. So here we go. Go back and give everything a final quarter turn. All right, and there we go. Pretty easy. If you wanted to be a little bit more prepared for what's coming and you have everything out, you can go ahead and build a second one of these. But it's also coming up in the, in the next couple of videos, so it's not a big deal. We'll just put that away. We're done with step five. All right, for step six, we're going to be installing a bevel gear in there and setting the diff inside the housing. What happens is the motor spins a spur gear. The spur gear spins that bevel gear. That bevel gear spins the differential we're going to place in there. And with the out drives, it's going to spin the wheels. That's how this assembly works. All right, let's find out what parts we need. Okay. Next step, we're going to be setting the bearing in there first. And you need to make sure that it's resting all the way back and it's flush with the chassis right there. And then I need to grease this all the way around. And you can see there's a flat spot in the shaft that corresponds at indexes onto the gear. And now I need to work some gear, work some grease into the gear, onto the gear here. Oh man. Okay. I have an aversion to touching grease. I don't know if you can tell. Okay. There we go. And now we're going to put 
you may have plastic bushings, but I'm putting bearings on here. And if you do have, you are using plastic bushings, you want to put grease inside the um, bushing. I'm using bearings, so there's no need for that. And all you do is drop it in there. Now it's going to fall out because there's nothing holding it. So I'm just going to set that aside gently and get ready for step seven. Okay, we need to find quite a few parts for step seven. Uh, first, we need the diff housing cover. And this is the damper stay. Later on, we're going to be mounting the dampers there. This holds the arms, the upper arms. And here are the upper arms. There's four of them. Four of them. And they're found on the flexible parts tree. And they're the ones with the stems on the end and not the loops. These are the front. I'm going to set those aside. And there's four of them. They are not identical. Two of them are smaller and two of them are a little bit wider. And the two smaller ones are the upper arms and the two larger ones, they go this way, are the lower ones. Okay. And the thing about, just a quick, quick note about um, cutting parts off parts tree, uh, you want to cut it off where there's no sp as much as you can, close as close as you can, where you're not leaving behind a spur, um, for example, right here. You're not leaving a spur behind. Um, this is not a spinning part. If you leave a spur here, it's not a big deal. But it's just so you don't sna you know, snag a hand or whatever, a finger fingertip when you're running across it later on or, or another part. So trim as close as you can. If you need to, you can go back with a hobby knife and take off any excess, but you don't have to get it perfect. Okay, let me adjust everything and we'll start assembly. Okay, make sure your diff gear right here is greased around. I'm not able to spin at that moment. And make sure, make sure the bearings are nested all the way in. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time closing the housing. And the housing cover, there's two of them. You want to look for the one with this hole on top. All right, let's go ahead and place the lower arms first. This goes on the left side. The slanted side of the arm go towards the back of the car. Switching hands, meaning this side goes towards the back of the car. And same with the upper arm. And for the upper arm, we need to set this piece on top. Hard to show you right now, but there's two holes and there's a slot between there. You'll see it. And we're going to place the upper arm, same thing. Slant this side towards the back of the car. Believe me, I know this is super awkward. That's all right. We will persevere. And now that everything's in place, we're going to set this in there. If you have a pal that can help you hold this chassis vertical, it will make your life a lot easier. But if you did it correctly, it should look something like this. And you just want to look to the side and make sure the seam is closed all the way. 
just look at the other side and look at the bottom. There you go. Everything is closed. I'm going to go ahead and set this down. Now we're going to place the damper stay. And there's three holes there. Corresponds with these three holes. Go ahead and set that down. Reposition for a second so I can show you better. Okay, remember if you're moving the chassis before you put the screw in, you want to make sure you hold on to the back of the spur gear and the front of the housing. Otherwise, you're going to break it all apart. I'm going to go ahead and place the silver screw on the top first in the middle. And the dark screws on each side. It's not apparent yet. But this bar, the damper stay, is actually very, very important because the dampers or the shocks are actually going to be mounted onto this piece. Therefore, a lot of the shock absorption from the wheels and the axles are transferred to the chassis via this damper stay. Or shock tower whatever you want to call it and there you go so you want to make sure this damper stay is securely fastened and there it is the screws for these these two holes are not going in yet for this step but there it is there is step seven. And we've completed this video today. And let's go ahead and take a little bit look ahead. We're going to be building the rear axles next. And also attaching the rear bumper. It's kind of a skid plate. And we're also going to be attaching the axles onto the chassis and as well as putting these body mounts on. And we'll figure out which one we're going to put on. Okay. So that's it. We've completed the rear diff and also mounted the rear arms. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one.